All right, so then let's move right on to four. Question number four says, what makes Alicia decide to jump off of the high dive? What makes Alicia decide to jump off of the high dive? All right, so then I am going to go back inside of my text and I am looking for, now before I go back inside of my text, I want to start with my sentence stem. What makes Alicia decide to jump off of the high dive? Alicia decided to jump off the high dive because, and I'll give you a moment to jot that down. Alicia decided to jump off of the high dive because. Okay, so let's go back inside of our text. I'm going to scan my jots first. Alicia was afraid to jump off. Alicia watched Maria jump off the diving board, and then she faced her fears. So somewhere in here, um, it is going to talk about the fact as to why she decided to jump. So, okay, so I know he the thought of being up so high terrified her. Maria jumped off the board and then climbed out of the pool. She approached Alicia. Come on, Alicia, you've got to try it. It's awesome. So I know one of the reasons that she possibly decided to jump off of the board in paragraph seven is because um, Maria convinced her. So I'm going to say paragraph seven, Maria convinced her. And then I also remember another, it talked about down here, she, she faced the fears. She climbed up the ladder when she got to the top. She gripped it. The water uh, down below looked far, far away. She wanted to turn back to walk back down the ladder, but that would be way too embarrassing. There was only one thing to do. Alicia walked to the edge of the board. So then I'm thinking about that as another reason as to why she jumped off the board, because it would have been embarrassing had she not been. So then that's a second reason. And that's paragraph nine. I just I remember reading that. So it would be embarrassing okay so we have two reasons now why alicia decided to jump off of the high dive so let's unveil our answer choices and see which one is close to that okay so uh a it says alicia decided to jump off the high dive because she always wanted to jump off the high dive now, that's not text evidence. It says right here in this paragraph that the thought of even being up so high terrified her. She had never even tried to jump off. So then I know that that's not true. She never tried to jump off of that. I'm thinking this through. She never tried. She never even wanted to try to jump off of it. So then let's go to B. Alicia decided to jump off the high dive because she is too embarrassed to climb back down. Well, wait a minute. I said over here that one of my answer choices could be that Maria convinced her or it would be too embarrassing. So then I know without a shadow of a doubt from paragraph nine, B is my answer. OK, let's go to question number five. Question number five says, what does paragraph seven show about Maria? So I have some context clues as to where I want to go. And it's asking me, what does paragraph seven show about Maria? So P7 show that Maria, all right, let's go to paragraph seven and let's finish this. Paragraph seven, so good readers go back and forth. I'm going to read this. Maria jumped off the board and then climbed out of the pool. She approached Alicia. Come on, Alicia, you've got to try it. It's awesome, she said. So what does this show us about Maria? Uh, it shows us that Maria... Um, she really wanted Alicia to jump off of the high dive. She wanted her to experience, she wanted her to experience that fun. So it shows that Maria really wanted Alicia to try it. It was fun. And just like, you know, Miss Jordan always teach you, step inside of the character's shoes. Like, it was fun. She wanted her friend to experience the same thing. All right, so now let's go to our answer choices. Uh, paragraph seven shows that M Maria, she is an encouraging friend. Um, uh, I would say that she was encouraging. She actually went over, remember, and, and that's even connecting back to our big idea. Remember, she actually went over, Maria convinced Alicia to jump. So encouraging or convincing, um, that all falls into the same category. So I'm going to put a question mark beside that. And then it says here, uh, paragraph seven, watch how I always go back to my sentence stem. 
Paragraph seven shows that Maria shows that Maria she likes to show off. Well, let me think about what a show off is. A show off is the person who's always bragging and boasting about what what they're doing and what they've done. Um, I did not see any text evidence in paragraph seven that is telling me that Maria was trying to be a show off. So I wouldn't. Uh, it just, all she did was try to convince Alicia to come and jump. So I don't think that she was trying to be a show off. So I'm going to X out B because I thought about that. She's not trying to be a show off. She was only trying to convince her. And so I know that A is my answer. Okay. And so now we're going to go to question number six. Question number six says, what is the problem in this story? Well, I actually already have evidence of what the problem is in this story because I wrote it down twice. I have it up here in my thinking job. P, the problem was that Alicia was afraid uh, to jump off of the high dive. And then I also have my problem listed in my big idea. Again, Alicia was afraid to jump off of the high dive. That, that's what the problem was. So I'm going to go back over and I'm going to uh, write that in. Now, I want to find text evidence for that as well. I know that I have it as, uh, as my big idea and in my problem, but I also want to find text evidence for that. And so it says right here... Um, uh, the problem was that she was afraid even in paragraph 6 it said the thought of being up terrified her Alicia had been afraid there's that word afraid in paragraph 6 and then also up here in paragraph 3 it said don't be scared Maria so scared and afraid or synonym words they both mean the same thing so I have uh, evidence from paragraph 3 and paragraph 6 paragraph 6 that she was afraid Okay, so now I'm going to unveil A. Uh, the problem in the story is that Alicia has never has never jumped off of the high dive. Um, well, that's true. She had never jumped off of the high dive, but was that the actual true problem that we wrote and saw for text evidence twice in the story? Uh, no, so I'm going to X that out. Uh, B, uh, the problem in the story is that Alicia is afraid to jump off of that. So you have to be very clear uh, and, and precise on your words there. She was she was afraid to jump off. It wasn't that she had never jumped off. That's true. She had never jumped off, but that wasn't the problem. The problem was actually that she was afraid to jump off. Okay. All right. And so that is going to conclude the story, uh, the high dive. Uh, now what I want you all to do is I want you to pause um, the video and I want you to go ahead and execute max. Um, I want you to execute this story, read the story, do your genre, do your text features, do everything. And I also want you to go ahead and flip over and answer all of your questions. Okay. And then we're going to come back in and we'll take a look at uh, only a few of the questions precisely. Uh, but I want you to go ahead and answer all of them. And then we'll talk about that as soon as we come back. All right. Go ahead and pause the video to do story number two, Max. Okay, welcome back. Um, by now, you should have completed the story, Max, and your story should look something similar to this. You should have your directions, your text features. Uh, you should have marked up your passage, your uh, character problem solution and lesson learned. All of this should have been done. You should have notes on there the back of it should look like this all of your text features your big ideas should be done and you should have answered and executed excuse me all of your questions and it should look very similar to my paper because we know this is what miss jordan's expectations are we're doing college work and we are marking up our papers okay all right so i'll leave this here if you need to pause the video um, to get your character problem solution and lesson learned, just to kind of check over your work and make sure you have what I have. I'll give you just a moment. You can go ahead and pause the video uh, for that information. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to, uh, I'm just going to read the big idea just so we can be on one page with that. So this is a really great story. Uh, my characters were uh, Max and his sister Lisa. The problem was that Lisa wants Max to come into dance class, but he doesn't really want to. The solution is he goes inside and learn a new way to warm up before his games. 
So the lesson learned is trying something new can teach you to enjoy new activities. And you don't have to have precisely what I have, but something very similar is we should be on the same page in that area. And so then for our big idea, what we do is we bring all of that together and we mesh our thinking job together, the character, problem, solution, and lesson learned. And so for my big idea, I have Lisa wants her brother Max to come inside her dance class with her, but he knows that it will make him late to his game. Max goes inside anyway and learns a new way to warm up before his games. Trying something new can teach you to enjoy new activities. Okay? And you can pause if you need to uh, jot that down for yourself. All right, so moving right along, uh, we are going to take a look at question number. Uh, we'll start with seven, nine, eleven. Okay, we'll just attack three questions today. All right, for the sake of time. So we'll attack three questions. So question number one, I'm going to cover up my answer choices. And question number one says, why is Max a great baseball player? Paragraph one. Why is Max a great baseball player? All right, so good readers go back and forth. Uh, Max is a great baseball player. He can run fast, jump high, and hardly ever misses a catch. So then that's telling me why he's a great base. Uh, he's a great baseball player. So I'm going to jot that information down, run fast, jump high, and will hardly ever misses a catch. Okay, so now let's go ahead and unveil our answer choices. Max is a great baseball player because he can run fast and jump high. That's what I have here. Or Max is a great baseball player because he hits a home run every time. When I look for text evidence, it never said anything in here in paragraph one precisely because that's what they gave me, that he hits a home run every time. So I'm canceling that out and I know A is my answer. All right, let's go to number nine. What does paragraph nine show about leaders? About Lisa, I'm sorry. So good readers go back and forth. Paragraph 9 says that just as the class lines up to do leaps, his sister points to the clock. It is time for Max to leave. Max doesn't want to miss the leaps. He wants he waits and takes his turn. Then he must go. Uh, this shows that Lisa is caring because she wanted him to stay and she knew that he had to leave. So she was caring or considerate. All right. So it shows that she was caring or considerate is how I would write that. All right, so then let's unveil our answer choices. Uh, she is helpful because she reminds Max of the time. Now, though I wrote caring or considerate, that is very close to what I wrote. So I am definitely going to put a question mark beside that. Or uh, paragraph nine shows that Lisa is rude and does not want Max in her dance class. Paragraph nine never said anything about uh, Lisa being rude to her brother Max. So as I'm thinking through that, I know that that is not even an option for an answer choice because it never said anything about that. So I'm going to mark that out. Now we're moving right on to uh, uh, question number 11. Uh, read the sentence from paragraph 13. Now Max has a new way to warm up for the baseball games on Saturday. The phrase warm up most closely means, I see a text, text feature there, so let me go back. I'm looking for a synonym for warm up. Now Max has a new way to get ready. Yeah, that's good. Or for the baseball game, I said it. Or now Max has a new way to prepare. That's good. To prepare for the baseball game. Okay. So now let's unveil our answer choice and see which one mostly uh, is, uh, it closely matches or the best synonym for it. Okay, so the phrase warm up closely means prepare, question mark, that's what I have, or it means avoid, no. To warm up does not mean to avoid. So then I know without a shadow of a doubt that A is my answer. So as you finish your remaining questions, remember that close readers use the text to answer questions and then choose the best answer choice. All right, complete the remainder of your questions on your own. I'll give you that time. And then here are the answer choices. You can pause the video if you need to take a look at those. 
And that'll conclude it. See you next time. Bye-bye.